OK, so let's take a look at the week two do something we haven't taught you how to do challenge. OK, so remember, these are self learning challenges. So challenge number one of week two, um, we've been given some data. We've got a comma separated value file that contains four columns. Um, so when we store data like this, we call the file a CSV or .CSV file. And CSV just stands for comma separated values. Uh, we've got a file name that is moviedb.csv, so that's available through Blackboard to download. Um, and your challenge is to read the data from the CSV file into a Python list. OK, so whenever you need to um, read in data from a file, it might be a good idea to take a quick look at what that data looks like. So a CSV file can be opened in a text editor um, or it could be opened in something like Excel or another spreadsheet package. Um, Jupyter also allows you to take a look at those. Um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to have a look at moviedb, uh, db.csv with an editor so we get a raw view of the data. Um, so this is what a CSV file is in its essence. Um, so there's a series of fields or values. So that on the top line, we've got some values ID, title, budget, and so on. Uh, and they're separated by commas, as you might expect. Um, so a comma is a delimiter in a text file, and it allows a program um, to identify when one value ends and another value starts. So that means that programs can read data in and display it in different ways or manipulate it easily. For example, if you just double click on a CSV file in Jupyter, it recognized what it, what it is and it was able to separate those values into this table here. So we can see um, a bit like a spreadsheet, it's displayed a table of the data and we can see a clear picture of what's in the data. And here we've got um, columns of data so we've got information about the title of the film, the budget, the box office takings, the year it came out, and the Metacritic score. Um, so if you wanted to, as I said, you could look at that in something like Excel or another spreadsheet package. Let's just take a look in mine. Um, OK, and, and here you go. So standard looking data that you would see in Excel. So let's get back to our challenge. So we'd like to read that data from that CSV file into a Python list. So the first thing I recommend you do after taking a look is to create a fresh Python file in Spider. And I recommend what you do is you save that file in the same directory as moviedb.csv. And the reason for that is it just makes it easier for you to find where that code is because you're going to have to specify the path to that file. OK, so let's let's take a look on the Internet to see if we can figure out how to read uh, that data in. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in Python read CSV file. OK, so we've got a number of hits and um, the top hit looks quite good. So CSV file reading and writing, uh, but it's coming back in Python 2.7. So remember, we're using Python 3. We don't want an older version, we want the most up-to-date version. So let's revise our search pattern slightly. OK, now we get the same link, but this time with the Python 3.7 doc. So let's open that up. Oh, good. So it looks like there is a module called CSV. Um, so that bodes very well. That probably means it's going to be very easy to read in data from CSV files in Python. Um, and we've got some example code here underneath. So we can see we need to import CSV. Um, and then we've got a rather strange st statement. We're saying with open this file, in this case their file is called eggs.csv, as CSV file. And then we're creating a reader object uh, by calling the CSV.reader method. And then we're printing each row of that method of that reader out so basically effectively printing each row of the file out so we've not seen code that looks like this before in particular this with statement is quite confusing so when you encounter something like this um, it's better to 
have a quick look at what with means within Python before just copying and pasting this code. So here's a little search that I prepared earlier. So what I've done is I've typed into my search engine, the with statement Python, uh, and we've got some links here. Let's just click on the first one. So the with statement, you get better syntax and exceptions handling, and the with statement simplifies execution handling by encapsulating common preparation and cleanup tasks. Mm. So that's not very clear. Let's have a look at some code, which will probably make it a bit clearer. Okay, so here's some code without the with statement. Um, so it looks like this code is opening a text file called welcome.text. Um, it's reading all the data from that file into a variable called data. It's printing out that data to the screen. And then it's importantly, it's closing the file afterwards. So it looks like the with statement uh, simplifies that code. So what we can say is we can say with open this file as file, read in that data into a variable called data and then do something with the data. And we don't need to call the file.close function. So the, so the with statement basically has automatic cleanup of your uh, file by closing it for you. So it just saves you a line of code, which is quite nice. So what else do we need? So what we've learned is that it's really easy to open a file using the import CSV and read that file in, but it won't be, it won't come in as a list. So we need to figure out how we create a list once that data has been read in. So I'm going to do another search, which is Python list CSV. And sorry, I've spelt that wrong. Okay, so Python imports CSV to list. This looks like a good thing, and it's on our old friend Stack Overflow. Um, so here we've got somebody saying they've got a CSV file with about 2,000 records um, and they'd like to figure out a way to read that in. And we've got 10 answers. Top answer uh, gives you ways to do it in different versions of Python by the looks of it. So here's the Python 3.x version, which is what we want. So it looks pretty simple. So we are importing the CSV module. Uh, then we're using with open the file uh, and the R there stands for read access as F um, creating a reader object so we're creating a CSV reader based on that file and then we're calling this function here list which converts that reader automatically in a wrist into a list and then we print that out to the screen so that's some boilerplate code that you can copy paste into your instance of spider So we know that ours is called moviedb.csv. I'm going to make this a bit more expressive. Okay, so is my code happy? Undefined name movie list. I spelled that wrong, yes. Okay, so I think that will run. Okay, so we have our data within Python. Uh, so we can see here that the first line that's come in are all the headers of the data. And the second line is the amazing Spider-Man line. Um, brilliant. So I'm gonna show you a trick just to format. So this is effectively a list of lists. Um, so I'm going to show you a trick in order to format that so it's nicely outputted to your screen. Um, so it involves using the star operator, which we learned about last week, which we know means we're, we're passing a variable number of arguments to a function. And then there's a, a keyword argument to print called sep, which stands for separator. Um, and I'm going to make that equal to slash n, which is the carriage return. Um, and then when we run that again, 
we get a nicely formatted output. So we can see here, uh, we've got the, the header row, followed by the Amazing Spider-Man row, followed by Iron Man, and so on, all the way down to Guardians of the Galaxy. Excellent. So you've learned quite a few things there. So the first is that there's a module called CSV, and that pretty much handles all of your CSV needs. The second is we've learned a little bit about file input um, to Python, and we know that we can use this with statement um, to write cleaner code, so we don't necessarily need to write code where you explicitly close a file. And then third, we've just learned a little bit more about the print function in that you can change the separator um, so that you can so you can format your output nicely to the, the IPython console. So we didn't necessarily need to use the with, the, the with statement. What we could have done is we could have written our code like this. Um, so we're importing the CSV, uh, we're reading in the CSV file, um, and we're creating our list, and then we're explicitly closing the file. And that would give us the same output. Let's try that. There we go. But what we've done is we've created slightly cleaner code by using the with statement. 